Hello friends, it is I, Sir Anthony, and today on Unboxing in a Beer, we have the Puffco Plus, which is a dab pin by the company Puffco. It's supposed to be one of the best ones ever made, so let's take a look. Some of its features from the website are coilless ceramic bowl, built-in extendable loading tool, built-in carb cap, three heat settings, a sesh mode functionality which allows it to go on for 12 seconds of continuous heat, fast charging and a long battery life, precision machine alloy housing, and fingerprint resistant coating. So, you know, if your fingers are all sticky, won't get very many fingerprints on it. Today, we're drinking Stone IPA. Pretty good one, I've had this before. Um, it's a company that's in Washington, I believe. Let me see. It says West Coast. I'm not going to look for where it says Washington, but I'm pretty sure it's made in Washington. Let's get right into it. On the back, it says, you get out what you put in. Pretty cool little quote. It's like a double entendre. Talking about life and the fact that you get a lot of smoke for what you put in there. That's nice looking. Okay, here's the pin itself. It has the Puffco emblem for the button. It's really cool. Here's the top part. You can push it downward. It's a little dab grabber. Put it back up so that you can take the hit. This is the bowl piece they're talking about, coilless and ceramic. Should be super easy to clean too. Here's the actual battery part itself. Looks pretty standard. Let's see what else comes in the box. Got this little pamphlet thing, see what's inside. Tells you exactly what pieces come with it. Has a mouthpiece, dart, chamber, battery, charger, grip, and some cotton swabs. And it tells you exactly what each thing does, how to charge it, and all kinds of stuff like that. Sesh mode is the 12 second continuous heating. Uh, do. Allow one second for the chamber to heat up before inhaling. Keep pin vertical at all times. Slow, long inhales yield the best results. Remove the dart when thoroughly cleaning. Regularly clean the gold contacts on the battery and any chamber to ensure proper connection. Only use Puffco Plus chamber and Puffco Plus battery. Don't. Fill the chamber above the air holes. Don't dry fire the device. Do not fire more than four times consecutively. Used chambers are not covered under warranty. Warning, chamber may be hot after use. Cleaning, this is not a vape pen. It's the first pocket nail. Use a cotton swab after each use to remove remaining byproduct. Preheat the chamber to free up excess material before cleaning. Clean the gold pens in the battery and chamber to ensure proper connection. Puffco Plus battery fully charges in approximately 45 minutes. The red indicates charging and the green indicates fully charged. It has three temperature settings. Uh, you click the button four times to cycle the settings. Blue is low temp, green is medium temp, and white is high temp. I was told by someone that you should always keep it like low or medium. High will um, make the battery and coil go out quicker. And then here's the Puffco Barand <laughs> cotton swabs. I like the little design of the shape of the tips on this side. These ones are kind of standard on this side. And then here is the charger. This one's pretty standard too. I actually have a charger very similar to this. Except it's a little bit longer and it doesn't have the Puffco symbol on it. What's this? I'm not sure what this is. Just a little grip for it. 
Yeah, it's a little grip. That's pretty cool. So you put this on here, I assume. Put that up to where you want to hold it. Okay. Got your little grip on there. Put it up a little bit higher. That's pretty cool. Now, I also bought some oil to try this with. Fire Bros Miracle Whip. This is not mayo. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's a hybrid. Fire Bros makes some pretty good stuff, so I assume this will be good as well. This gives us a chance to try out the uh, little dabber inside there. See how good it actually is. Okay, so since this is a dab pin, we don't want to get too big of a dab on there. Push that in. It's very sturdy though. Get a little bit more on there. Should be fine. Place that in there. We should be good to go. Now, let's go outside and try this thing. Alright, we're outside now. Got this fully charged. Turn it on. Five taps to turn it on. Flash is white. See, it's white right now, so let's uh, give it three taps. Hold it for a second before inhaling. Not bad. Clean taste. Definitely think that this is worth a purchase if you're someone who is on the go a lot or if you just don't take super huge dabs and you want something consistent. You don't want to have to deal with like a torch or anything like that. It's very nicely. The, um, the oil itself is very good too. Um, doesn't taste like <coughs> burnt or um, overheated or anything like that. So if you want something that's consistent with its flavor and how it burns, I definitely recommend this product. really appreciate you doing this. I think that I'm probably eventually going to do the Puffco Peak um, and probably other products. Um, later in the year I'll either do the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X and I'll keep going with the Yu-Gi-Oh! videos but yeah that's it for me. Until next time.